What's going on everybody, it's Sublox here, and welcome back to another Modern Warfare video. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to complete the objectively hardest Spec Ops mission, uh, Operation Crosswind, which is what's uh, featured on the trailer by jumping out the airplane. Now keep in mind, this was made before, I did this before the uh, update that made it easier with the other two operations, so this was done pretty much pre-patch, and this was also done with randoms like all the upper, other operations. Um, and with randoms, even without any communication with them, we still got it true because we know what to do. So diving into this, you're going to want to have a riot shield on your back, a stim shot, at least a juggernaut, you need the juggernaut, a munitions box, and a tactical flare, those last two are optional. But the riot shield and a PKM with thermal optics is very much advised with ammunition and it does a lot of damage to juggernauts. Now moving into the mission itself, the first segment, we already know what we have to do here as rams, um, but what you want to do is you want to make sure that you minimize the amount of noise you make by crouching and doing all sorts of stuff. Take out the two on the on the uh, road that are patrolling and take out the one on the tower above the car park. Now, once you take those out stealthily, preferably headshots because it takes them out right away, you will have no enemies in the car park, you have no enemies above the car park, but if you did alert them, you would have hell and it would be almost impossible to complete, even with all shields and all skilled players. So this is very vital. Make sure you devote all your squad's energy into stealth. Moving forward, if you complete this part without stealth, with stealth, um, you need to make sure all you guys are together, as the rounds were here, we were all watching each other's backs, and make sure you take a look left and right to spot with the juggernauts. If you're very careful, you can see juggernauts in the distance that are not alert to your presence, and those would be the juggernauts that would kill you if you were to alert them in the first segment. Now, I don't know if it's because someone shot or someone ran, or if it's just scripted to happen, but once we entered the airport, about two seconds later, the music started to kick in, and then this is where things got real. This is where your riot shield, stim shots, and PKMs will really come into play because there are going to be at least five or six juggernauts ambushing you inside the airport. In addition to that, you're going to have a lots of armored enemies. So, calling the juggernaut at the very last part of the segment, for at least for you. Uh, munitions boxes are going to be used here, so make sure you use them wisely and make sure that you communicate with each other. I know it's hypo hypocritical because the randoms and I didn't do that, but we got through it anyways. But communicate with each other and know who's out of ammo and who's not. Stay inside, do not go out to the main ways. Now, there will be a part where you need to get the juggernaut, and the thing about the juggernaut is you are slow and you cannot enter vehicles. So, completing the part with the juggernaut is not too taxing since you can also revive people with the juggernaut. Um, but once you're out of the streets with the juggernaut, you cannot drive an ATV, so what you have to do is do what I did and make a long run to the airplane. The airplane run is kind of strenuous because you cannot aim super far away. It takes time to aim, takes time to cycle up the minigun, and again, you are slow. Now keep in mind, if your team already drives over there without armor, you have to make sure that they're safe because they will be faced with uh, armored trucks, turret trucks, mounted trucks, juggernauts, armored enemies beneath the plane, armored enemies in the hills, sniping you, etc. So that's why you should get there as fast as you can and waste no time. Now once you are there, the next segment will start in the plane, which is basically Mile High Club from COD 4 Modern Warfare, um, with a little bit of remastering to it. Now two of you guys need to be on either side and also stick together in between the seats. There will be a segment, and if you, by the way, before I even mention this, uh, if you do get downed in the plane, you need to be careful because it takes at least two people to revive that person with all the people that are going on inside the plane. There's numerous people shooting at you. There will be a segment where you have to blow open the door with the juggernaut. Make sure you guys rush in the door first. Do not wait for the juggernaut to come up the stairs, otherwise you will waste a lot of time because this is a time segment. Once you take out the juggernaut, make a, one of you guys needs to make a left to get to the reactor core. Take that thing out, and then you guys can jump into the infamous skydiving out of the airplane scene. Now, once you're here, this is only where it begins. Now it's getting even more hell. No checkpoints either. You will have to restart the entire mission if you fail. Um, drop the reactor core where it's safe, and be ready to shoot juggernauts with your team. Make sure you guys stay together. I know the randoms and I in the footage did not really stay together. I know it's going really fast. Um, but make sure you guys stay together because stim shots are needed, munition boxes are needed, and even grenade boxes if anyone took it, so that way you can refill your stim. Now, whenever you have this, you need to utilize riot shields because there will be at least, I think, three or four juggernauts in this area. From all the times I've played, that's what I've encountered. And even in the plane part, the helicopter part where you exile the mission, there will be juggernauts that crawl up that ladder. Now, if you don't realize, this is actually a remake of Boneyard from Modern Warfare, or I want to say Chew. Um, it's a very iconic map. It was even remade in Ghost as um, the one space mission. I forgot what that was called. Um, but it's very iconic and it's also very confusing to traverse because it is not an exact replica. Now once you get through this section, it's again now it's over, there will be a juggernaut at the end waiting for you coming up the stairs. And make sure that your ammo supply is at least somewhat healthy, does not have to be full at this point. Now it should be noted that if 
three of the four people, or even one out of the four people, are on the helicopter and the other three are down, you can still complete the mission for everyone. So it does not matter if they are alive or not during the time. As long as one person is in the helicopter and that is the max, you will be able to leave the mission. But if two are alive and two are down, both of the two have to be inside, etc. Guys, that is how to complete this mission. I know it seems easier said than done. Um, but just like in Blackout, you know, it's the same thing on how to get the character items. This is how to complete Spec Ops. And getting Zane was no easy feat for me, but I got it done. You do not even have to complete the new missions. But with that being said, guys, I'm Soblox, and I'm starting out.